The Africa Information Technology Exhibition and Empowerment Initiative, an NGO, has stressed the importance of science, technology, engineering and mathematics in addressing the future challenges of the country. The founder of Afritex, Mr. Oisola Ouru, said this at the closing of the fifth edition of EdTech Summit and Awards in Abuja. Ouru said that STEM, as an inclusive approach, will allow individuals to develop the skills necessary for success in various areas of the labor market. We have had um, sessions that are focusing on how to um, properly identify right source for implementation of your renewable energy in your home, in your offices, and um, how to be able to identify proper vendor consultant that can actually help you in making sure you are not getting born. Um, we have also had um, other presentations on the use of AI for making lesson notes, which was very, very intriguing, um, where teachers can actually achieve a um, lot more because the learners of today are quite very inquisitive, they are more knowledgeable, so the teachers have to be um, ahead of them. And it's been very engaging and interactive where the audience, unlike um, yesterday when we have, um, we have panel sessions, we have mistake, but today is more of a neater um, um, sessions where the engagement has actually been unending and um, it's been enriching and it's actually adding a lot of value to the community and also um, there has been a launch of the Nigerian Clinton Group which is actually supposed to foster collaboration and development within the ecosystem in Nigeria. The Saturday conference and exhibition is a yearly event. Um, the EdTech Summit is the fifth edition on the road while we have the, um, the Smart Summit this is the fourth edition. Um, they are conceptualized to bring stakeholders together on a yearly basis to provide solutions um, to specific areas of challenges and need in our uh, environment, um, particularly in the educational ecosystem where we see that there is still low level of use for technology. So um, the EdTech Summit has focused on the application of technology for teaching and learning and of course we cannot um, end the conversation, we cannot end the fact finding towards providing solutions in that area in one year. So it is designed to be um, an annual event bringing stakeholders together from the industry from the academia, um, from the private sector, you know, and um, coming together to forge collaboration and collaboration towards the development of um, the educational ecosystem, the application of technology, and also looking at the application of technology in how we live. Also, Mr. Alan Wadju Ogunkunli, Chief Executive Officer, River Cube Energy said it was time Nigeria learned from other parts of the world how to generate rather than waste energy. According to him, when energy is properly generated, it helps to convert the potential of a country into something tangible. Part of the challenges we discussed about is one, um, the current station situation of energy here, transmission, generation, and but in the renewable energy parts, we also mentioned a key part that a lot of people miss out, which is energy wastage. Um, even the little energy we generate, we still waste a lot of them unnecessarily, leaving air conditioners on, leaving things on, uh, closing from work, and even leaving home and leaving gadgets on that are not really needed when you're out of home. So we approach renewable energy in a different way. Instead of talking about massive solar farms, we're talking about individuals, a uh, group of persons taking the initiative to go the renewable energy way to cut down their cost one and also to reduce their demand on the national grid so that the national grid with the little is generating can be sufficient for those who are remaining on the grid and we hopefully look at um, look at the nearest future where almost everybody can have some basic energy generation system that's not the regular generator but everybody considering renewable energy system and storage systems for their homes and offices in the same vein the co-founder Skula, creators of Kuriai, Mr. Abdullahi Baturi, said infusing technology in education will make learning and teaching enjoyable. My presentation here today was about psychology and technology and how we can marry the two together 
Uh, so I focused on telling how teachers can leverage on social and emotional skill sets to actually teach this new generation of learners. Uh, but because I have a tool that uh, helps them do some of the painful tasks of creating lessons, lesson plans and assessment questions. If I'm able to save teachers time, I believe they can focus on self-development so that they will be able to impart knowledge and do the thing that we all want, which is learning. We've seen how uh, we have uh, students not you know, uh, engaging with contents uh, because these kids are of the 21st century and our teachers, the best of them are the 20th century and our classrooms are even the 19th century. Uh, what we're trying to do is to improve by doing our own quota to improve the learning outcomes uh, to bring education at the forefront of what development will be because with better teachers we're going to have better engineers, better doctors and hopefully improve our own economy.